We went to Lincoln Park ourselves to see how the construction was impacting residents. Um, my name is Megan Bouchard Lounsbury and I work at the um, Somerville Family Learning Collaborative. So I work not only at the Argenziano School, which is right behind us, but I work with all of the schools in the district. And primarily I work with the program, the school-based family and community liaisons who all work in the schools in Somerville. What do you think about the construction of the school? The construction right outside the Argenziano School is really exciting, not only because I think the playground is going to get a lot bigger for the kids at the school, and there's like 680-something kids at the school, so we need some space to move. Um, but it's also really exciting for me and my family because we live right next door to Lincoln Park. Um, and so we watch the construction every day and we see how things are developing. And I think it's going to be a great place for my kids and their friends to play and even for me and my friends to hang out in. Um, but mostly I'm really excited for the city of Somerville to have such an amazing park. In about a year we'll have a new park for all sorts of people to hang out in and do all sorts of exciting things. Will kids have enough green space? I hope so. I think so. I think the plan is really exciting. There's going to be a lot more trees. There's going to be a lot more places to hang out. Um, there's going to be a skate park. There's going to be a dog park. There's going to be still a softball field. There's going to be a splash park with all sorts of cool like tree house kind of play equipment. Um, I think there's going to be a part that has lots of sand in it, so it's going to be good for kids of all ages, including teenagers and adults. Um, I think when the field is finished, it's going to be an awesome place to have like picnics and hang out with friends. So I think in this area of the city, there's going to be a lot of green space for people. Do you think parks need improvement? Um, I know that when it comes to green space and open space and recreational fields, that there needs to be a lot more conversation in the city. And I think the city's trying to get that conversation going about um, where do we make or improve the fields that exist to accommodate all of the soccer programming and other kinds of programming. I know the, the high school has a lot of, you know, they have soccer teams and they have, um, frisbee teams and they have all sorts of of teams that need places to play and they need places to practice and they need safe places to play and practice so i hope that in the future places like foss park get improved um, maybe dillboy maybe conway um, because there's a lot of kids who need space to play their organized sports and there's needs to be space for kids to play unorganized things as well so i think the city's working on it so i'm pretty excited Will the park be available next year? Very important question, Cristela. Yes, they will. Um, they won't have access to the field yet here at the Argenziano, kids during recess and snack, um, but they will have the whole play space to, like the blacktop area that used to exist is gonna be newer and bigger. And there's gonna be an outside classroom, which is like, I'm so excited about that. What do you think about having less green space? I think that the city is trying to pay attention to having more green space if they can. Um, I think it's hard because we live in a city. I think the city tries to pay attention to making sure that we have enough trees and um, spaces like open spaces where community can gather and like people can meet each other. I know a lot of people in Somerville have really small yards if they have a yard at all so the community needs spaces to gather together outside and I also think that it's really important for kids to have a place to play outside in nature. Um, so I don't think we will get less green space. I hope that we get more. We went to Conway Park to interview kids about green space. I'm Carol, and we're and we're gonna have Isaac. Isaac, we're gonna interview Isaac. And now comes the questions. What do you think about less green space? I uh, I think it's it's bad. Want more green space to do stuff, play. We also have Leonard here answering the questions. My first question for you is what do you think about less green space um it's bad because 
um, animals could lose their habitats. Which do you like best, cement or, or grass? Explain why. Grass because it's more nat it's more nature and I like exploring. Thank you, Leonard. Hey, today we have another Isaac too, and I'm gonna ask him I'm gonna ask him a few questions. My first question is, what do you think about Last Green Space? Last Week Space? Oh, less green space. No, uh, nature's good. People can run around and more time to play baseball, soccer, so people can get more fit instead of staying home and playing video games. Which do you like best, cement or grass? Explain why. Grass, because if you trip or fall, uh, it doesn't hurt as much. What do you think about the school having construction? I think construction's good, but you don't want to take less teachers or people out of their business and add better ones, because people should stay in their jobs and not be homeless. Thank you. For Vienna News, I'm Corel Mami. I'm Cristela Rumami. And, and back, back to us. us.